Tuning in the beat talk, beat talk, tuning in the beat talk. Beat talk, beat talk, tuning in the beat talk. Okay, we don't have a DJ tonight to um <laughs> to play the the theme song, which is written by my youngest son, Dayron Tucker. All right, I'm not going to be on here long. I just want to come on. Um, tonight we did have a guest, but unfortunately the guest could not make it. So I'm just going to talk to you a few minutes. Whatever, you know, that comes to mind. For those of you who do not know me, I am Veronica. I am the host of V Talk TV. And normally I come on on Wednesdays and we talk about Wellness Wisdom Wednesday. You know, we know that wellness is a part. Hello, how are you? We know that Wellness Wednesday, uh, wellness is a part of everyday life. It's essential to everyday life. Whether you focus solely on spirituality or um, mental wellness, physical wellness, holistic wellness, you know, me, I say fashion wellness, you know, um, but to me, all of that is part of my life. All of it, you know, a spiritual wellness, physical wellness, fashion, holistic. Uh, this year would make five years of me uh, eating plant-based and vegan. You know, I don't like to call myself a vegan because that's not who I am. That's I eat vegan. I eat plant-based. And this year... I uh, try to just do just raw because it helps me the most. And for the most part, I've been doing raw. Um, I've had a few cooked foods this year th thus far. So, you know, um, being raw is not as easy as it was for me to to do the vegan. I just went straight into it because I, I have been a faster for a good little while practically all of my spirituality, me um, being saved, I always practice fasting because it's it's so um, spiritual. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, fasting has always been a part of, part of my spirituality. So, you know, again, this year, you know, I've been trying to do more of raw, raw foods and definitely um, continue continuing my thing with the, the meditation listen i had my grandson here for um christmas break and i was trying to get him to meditate oh my god i gotta show y'all the video it was i'm like okay <laughs> he was not having to meditate at all at all he was and that's so i was like you know i was telling him to close his eyes take a couple of deep breaths and i was like so what are you i said so what are you uh thinking about right now he goes i'm thinking about how i do not want to do this He's only eight years old, okay? And I was like, okay, so if you want to get back to doing what you was doing, you would just relax and you would take a couple of deep breaths. Poor thing, he tried. But you know, eight-year-old, he's a boy. He's all over the place. But um, definitely been telling my daughter to, to kind of, you know, work with him, help him practice, you know, because it'll help him be more centered and more relaxed and, you know, he can get better sleep when he meditate. Um, so... So we've been, we, you know, been practicing doing that. And I also, like I said, I like fashion because if you look good, you feel good. Sometimes I, I, I'm a fashion influencer. If y'all go on my Instagram page, you can see a lot that I clean up pretty nice. You know, um, I get my, one of my favorite makeup artists to make my face up and, you know, put on some nice clothes. A lot of the, the outfits come from Jay Bowling and then we have another um young lady boutique that she's going to come on v talk tv and she's going to be talking about fashion fashion wellness and stuff like that so i'm pretty excited um about that and all the people that we've been talking to and some of you may know or may not know we even got a chance to talk to aunt vi from queen queen sugar um she she dropped a lot of gems in 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 our conversation and i love talking to her and I, I think everybody has been on. Last week, we had Pastor Watts on. Man, she was what the young people say. She was lit. Um, uh, yeah, she she she's lit. So if y'all watching her, she's on my page. Um, she always have a, a word of inspiration every day. And... And... Um, 
And so, you know, <laughs> if you if you need that, you know, that inspiration, because we all need inspiration. It's a lot of stuff going on in in the world um, right now. And so we all need to be encouraged. And it's a lot of um, people that that are con is contracting COVID. So I want to tell you guys just to really be careful. Make sure that you're getting your vitamin, your vitamin D, your zinc, you know, because a lot of times a lot of people who who do end up dying of COVID are people that are vit vitamin D deficiency. And a lot of people are already already have um, pre uh, existing conditions. And listen, I work with people. I'm a social worker. I, I do uh, long-term care and I see people with sickness all the time. And you, you got to, um, you, you got to definitely take your vitamins. You got to stay prayed up. And again, you know, it's a lot of men, a friend was just talking just now that, you know, it's some people that do have pre existing conditions and they still, you know, came through it. So it's a lot of uncertainties when it comes to the virus. But again, whether you are vaccinated or not, I would say make sure that you're protecting yourself which it to the capacity in which you believe that you should protect yourself. And also think about some, some, you know, people next to you, people that when you're going around people, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, everybody is not able to fight off the virus. You might be in perfect health if you get it and you, you know what I'm saying? You might be asymptomatic, but just, just be mindful of the people that you're going around that, that body may not be able to fight off this virus like you and I, you know, um, again, like I said, my daily routine, because I usually ask people when they come on, what's kind of like your daily routine. So I want to walk you through my daily routine. My daily routine is I keep a warm glass of lime water next to my bed and I drink that the first thing when I get up. Lime, warm lime water is really good for your immune system. It helps get your get your organs and everything that going in the morning. And so I and it's really, really good right before I do a workout. You know, it, it allows me to to get a lot of sweating in. You know, sweating really gets the toxins out your body. So I, that's what I do. I drink the lime water. I definitely do some meditation. Listen, I know a lot of times when people think of meditation, they think it got to be something real deep. You got to be in the Indian style and all of that. No, it. you can start off small. You know, you, you can start off doing two minutes, three minutes. It does not have to be long. Once you've been doing it a long time, naturally, you are going to go longer with the meditation. But don't immediately think that you have to go there. You don't have to start right off doing 20 minutes, an hour, two hours with the meditation. You don't have to do that. You know, just, just start where, wherever you can. And so, yeah, so that's what I do. I do the meditation. I talk to God and pray, pray for everybody, pray for my loved ones, pray for everybody that I cross paths with. And, and I start my day th that way, you know, and I'm a very deep and critical thinker. And I'm always thinking of ways of how I could better myself and how I can help others because that's my passion. You know, I want, I want to be able to help other people. Um, that's just, that's just who I am. That's just part of who I am. And, you know, okay. So one of the things um, that's, that's pretty much what I, what I do, what I walk through and, and I may drink me some tea. You know, I, I love me some tea. You know, this tea right here is a mucus blaster tea. I get this from one of my favorite. Mm, good. I get it from one of my favorite um, herbalists, uh, Hands of Sage. Y'all come on Instagram and look up Hands of Sage. She's in, in Atlanta, I believe. And um, you inbox her. Um, I'll go to her website and I promise you anything that you want, if you're doing a holistic thing, anything that you want, she got it because during the time I had a car accident, um, in 20, at the beginning of 2020, I didn't use no man-made medicine and I had, I was in a bad car accident and my whole left side was filled of inflammation. I started having back spasms. I've never had, I've had problems with my back in the past, but never back uh, spasms. And those things are rough. And so 
I, I only use the herbs. That's all I use was the herbs. And I use um the the herbs for pain. Uh anything if you have anxiety, I'm telling you, you you tell her what it is that you got going on. She got a herb for it. And what I love about it, the herbs, the herbal list that I use and which I've had two on V Talk T T V. The herbalists that I use, they study with somebody. You know, we know that it's a lot of people since the pandemic has become self-made herbalists, <laughs> you know, um, but these are the uh, professionals and the herbs I've, because I'm not going to give y'all something. I'm not going to present y'all something that I have not tried out myself. And so I have uh, ordered and received and taken herbs from both of the herbalists. And I am here to tell you that it worked because I remember the, the doctor, she was getting upset with me because she was like, if you don't take that medicine that I gave you, you're not going to get better. And you're going to keep, you're going to keep that inflammation in your body. And, you know, I did not <laughs> receive what she was saying, you know, so I could tell you with my herbs and I, what I did was I added along with the herbs and the turmeric, um, which was inside some of the herbs, I added some cod liver oil. And along with that, I was able to get rid of a lot of that inflammation. I was able to start my physical therapy. And I'm here today, you know, and um, actually my back feels better than it did before I had a car accident. And I also um, had uh, cracked my hip before the end. And, and it feels like my hip is better than what it was before I had the, the, um, the car accident. So... God is good and listen, it's I tell everybody because at one time I used to be 300 pounds and I lost a lot of weight even before I started doing the vegan thing, I lost a lot of weight. And so and a lot of people constantly asking me or they inboxing me and I cannot talk to everybody because I do have a day job where I have a bunch of clients, I have over 100 clients. Uh, where well, I had over 100 clients out. I don't mark it down, calm, calm it down a little bit because I'm studying for my clinicals. But it's just a lot, you know. And then I've had a couple of deaths in my family and had to take flight with some things, with arrangements. So, you know, just been real busy. Um, but at the same time, I just, I make time for myself. And I know one of my viral, kind of like viral videos that had a lot of views and comments was when I talked about caregiving. Listen, and I talked about self-care to, to my caregivers. If you are not taking care of yourself, you you cannot take care of nobody else. You know, because I have a lot of caregivers that I deal with, um, with the people that I work with. And I've seen so many of them go down and the my clients outlast their caregivers because my caregivers are not really taking care of themselves and i preach this all the time caring for yourself is is actually actually the best care that you could give the person that you're caring for because if you're if you're not feeling good if you're if you're not to your best then you cannot care for nobody else. You're not gonna, you're gonna be aggravated, you're gonna be frustrated, you're gonna be physically drained, you're gonna be mentally drained. And and it's it's really no good. And 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 a lot of people get into caregiving for the wrong reasons. If you getting into it to make a whole lot of money, especially you ain't gonna do that in here in the south. Now, if you go up north, now they pay their caregivers a little bit more, you know. But in the south, in the Carolinas. You're not going to get rich taking care of a of, of a loved one. I mean, to me, caregiving is something that you have to do um, out of the kindness of your heart. You know, it has to be poeto. You know what I'm saying? That's the Greek word for do. It means to do creatively, to do with a natural flow. And if you're not doing that like that, then I promise you, I promise you, you you know what I'm saying? It's not going to end well for you or the person that you care for because you're going to get easily frustrated. You're going to get easily burnt out and you're not going to be effectively taking care of the person. The person is not going to receive the best care. So I just want to take this moment right now for every caregiver that may watch this or may watch, go back and watch the replay is that take care of you. I don't care. It, I don't care where you at. I don't care where you from. Listen, call. I know you saying, hey, I ain't got nobody to watch mama, daddy, uncle, whatever, so I could get a 10 minute break. You do. If you got a case manager, which everybody should have a case manager, 
If you don't, there should is a plenty of programs that's out there that help caregivers. Tell them, hey, I need a break. Let somebody come in. If you got a church member or somebody, if it ain't up but eight hours a day, because we do it all the time, you know, it's called respite care. Allow that person to go to respite for a little bit while they'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? They'll be all right. You, like I said, you need your rest. Okay. You need your rest. You need your rest mentally, physically, all of that. And you know, another thing that I noticed about caregivers, they have this caregiver guilt. They feel like when they doing something for themselves or when they need a break, like they letting the person that they care for down. And it's really not. I really want y'all to get out of that. I really do. And then y'all get to a point you be like, well, nobody can't take care of mama or take care of daddy like how I do. But what about when you're not here? What about when you're not here? So please, 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 I'm begging. Because like I said, I, with the work that I do, I see it all the time. My caregivers, they get worn out, broke down, and they end up checking out before my actual client. So what I want you to do is I want you to make sure you care for yourself. I want you to ask for help. You understand? Ask for some help. If it ain't up but a two hours, sometimes you got sometimes, especially some of y'all dealing with, with, with some of y'all loved ones that have dementia and Alzheimer's, that's like having a toddler. It's hard work. It is hard work. And I just want to tell you, listen, I know that's your mama because I, I, I come across some some uh, videos where I see a lot of people taking care of y'all loved one. And I'd be like, oh, you so cute. That's so nice. And, and you doing a great job. And they'd and they be like, I got to do this no, you, you making a choice to do it. You know, I understand, you know, you saying that that's my mama, that's my daddy, but give yourself some credit. You making a choice to do that. You understand? So for, I just want to commend you for doing it and commend you for doing a great job because I do have a lot of caregivers that are doing an excellent job and they do under, they do get the concept of they have to do their self care and they have to take care of themselves in order to be effective um, caregiver. So that's it. You know, that's, that's some, that's some wisdom and knowledge for you on this wellness wisdom Wednesday. You know, another thing that I got in my spirit to talk about is accountability. Y'all, what happened to accountability? Why, why, why we, why we not getting that much of that anymore? When I say accountability, I'm like, it's like, Nobody wants to take, they, they want, people want a position. Okay. Let's start with this. Some, some people covet what other people have. Some people covet spiritual gifts. Some people covet people, um, materialistic things, they house, they husband, stuff like that. But you don't even know you, you want this stuff, but do you want the responsibility? Can you be accountable to even do what it takes to even get these things? You understand what I'm saying? And 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 when things are going on in our lives, we don't want to take accountability. We don't. We we want to blame everybody else. I was I was um listening to a young man, he's pretty popular here on on this app TikTok and he would just kept going on on and on like you know normally his videos are so mot motivational but he just kept going on and on about what somebody doing to him and he needs somebody to talk to and somebody to love and I'm like thinking like you're on live and people talking back to you what is you know what are their extras in your movie I like you're on live quite often and people are talking back to you so you know, you on the phone, you, <laughs> and you, you getting love. He, he need love. He not getting no love. Well, you just said that you had a girlfriend. Listen, y'all, we got to make sure that people are being accountable because when you, when you have, when you have influence, which a lot of us have, and especially with us having these, what, you know, they laugh at me when I say that, but the older people say the picture phone and we're able to get, get on these phones and we're able to talk to people and they listen at what we're saying. We have influence. So make sure that you're, you're being accountable and you're using your influence the right way and you, you're not stirring, steering anybody in the wrong way. Let's be accountable for our actions. I know for me, if I'm, if I'm in a mindset, well, 
I feel like a, a bunch of stuff, people is doing something to me or, or they might be doing a whole bunch of stuff and, and I'm thinking it's wrong and all this and that. I try not to focus so much on them. Now, don't get me wrong. Listen at what I'm saying. I'm not excusing their bad behavior because we all know it's some bad people in this world that do things to people just for no reason. They just evil. They evil. Now, I ain't going to say for no reason because people, it, you know, some people have some unresolved issues that they have going on and they take it out on other people. But at the same time, when I'm going through stuff like that and and just a few months ago, I was going through some things and I'm thinking like, you know, these people are being really unfair and just. But I start to look within myself first before I go off on a tangent and be worried about what what somebody else doing and. And try to um, spend time thinking about why they did this or why they did that. I look within myself and I evaluate me. And I'm very careful of how I handle things because I am in a leadership role. I am in a position where a lot of people listen at what I say and they take what I say and it's influential to them. You know what I'm saying? What I say is means a lot to a lot of people. So I'm very, very careful with my words. So instead of just going off and, you know, and just, cur- you know what I'm saying? I don't curse anyway, but I'm just saying instead of going off and just being rate or whatever I calm down because think about it the enemy does not like when you do the opposite of what he think that's why the enemy is so mad at me because I keep going no matter <laughs> all the stuff that be thrown at me I keep going you know I, I'm always like I, I put I put my foot on his neck and he is crushed just like the the kingdom of God gave me the authority to do that because God said that we have the authority he said let them have dominion he you know what I'm saying because we have the power and authority and see a lot of people always like to say why God is why God let them do this listen God gave us the authority because he said let them now if he would have said let uh, let I and, and them, then he would have included himself. See, the Bible says the heaven belongs to the Lord and we have dominion here on earth. We are dominionaires. Listen, you have the power and the authority to speak those things that is that are not as if they were. So, and we, and a lot of people are forgetting that God is spirit. Okay. God is spirit. And what I'm going to say, th- th- this right here. For me, if God was to, to, I I would love to be anointed with God spit, but let a human spit on me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You won't get this poise, Veronica, because I understand who God is. But, um, you know, some people get what I'm saying when I'm saying that, but listen, God is spirit. And we it, are we are here. See, God loved himself so much. He created a bunch of uh, his images around this world. And he is so he, he is so unlike man because he gave us choice. We can either choose him or not. You know what I'm saying? We can give our will to do his will on, on earth or not. I choose to do his will and I don't choose to do it religiously. I'm a kingdom citizen because God never called us religion. He never called us to denominations. He called us kingdom citizens. And that's what I am. And I thank God for dying to religion. I died to a lot of stuff that I was taught as a child growing up conservative Baptist. And I resurrect up in kingdom it has liberated me. It has made me an effective person to, to be therapeutic, to be able to, to be do therapy with people. And, 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 um, it allowed me to be even more, um, conscious of my own biases when it comes to ministering and, and doing therapy with other people. So I just thank God for that. You know, I thank God for the Holy spirit because the Holy spirit, even though I have degrees, the Holy spirit is the best teacher okay so you know again i want us to take accountability because when when things are going going wrong or somebody doing something to me that ain't got no business i look within me because i'm not responsible but for how someone else act i'm only responsible for how i respond you understand what i'm saying so uh anytime something go and, and rare is ugly head i'm gonna remain beautiful 
Okay, I will remain, and we, and I'm not talking about the outside beauty. I'm talking about the inside because you know one of the prayers that I pray is, Lord. I want to be more like you. I want to talk like you. I want to have the mind of you. When people see me, they see the light shining in me coming from you. And, you know, a lot of people always tell me, <laughs> uh, what 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 are you doing to your skin? Because I, I, I don't have no filter on tonight. I tried to do a filter, but I, I, I couldn't get it on here. But um, uh, what, what do you do uh, to your skin? I drink water. And I mind my business and I, I, I mind God business and I leave the world business alone. That's what I do. That's why I'm able to look how I look. It don't, and I ain't saying that I don't have no, no problems. I'm not saying that I don't have no drama that I have to deal with. You understand what I'm saying? I, I deal with the drama. The drama don't deal with me. You know what I'm saying? I have emotions and I recognize them, but I don't let my emotions control me. Now, have I always been this way? No, I have not. So, but, but I thank God for maturing me as a, as in the natural and in the spirit where I don't have to argue and I don't have to fight, you know, and, and explain myself over and over and over again, because that's why I love me so much. You understand, you know, someone said, oh, you, you, you just, but you just going to be single forever. And my thing is, that's not a bad thing. A lot of people, what people do and again, I'm very big on words. People take words and they demonize them. Single means whole and complete. Okay. Single is not a bad word. When I do get married again, I'm still going to be single. You understand what I'm saying? Because imagine two whole individuals getting together. That's what the enemy don't like. See, y'all, 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 y'all love somebody. Well, he, I, we was broken. I was broken up and we got together and he healed some stuff in me. And that's fine. But that's not my case. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a whole woman. Now, back in the day, I probably, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She was broken up a little bit. But right now, I'm a whole woman and I know who I want. And that's why I would not settle. I would not compromise. You understand? Because I love me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when we're talking about relationship, the first thing, the relationship coach or, or the therapist asks you, would you date yourself? Yes, I would. And I'm for real, y'all. Yes, I would. I am. I am such a nice person. I'm very compassionate. I'm very loving. I'm romantic, you know. And 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 people who eat vegan, y'all already know what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, honey. We. Mm, yes. All right. So listen. We just have. We just have that 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 energy about ourselves. And that glow that, that, um, just like I told, um, somebody, I was telling somebody today that, um, that the energy that I bring, I know the energy that I bring and, and, and immediately, and I'm not, and I'm just being straight up when I know somebody kind of like got a crush on me or something like that, <laughs> they, they digging me. I don't spend a whole lot of time with that person, especially not in person, because I know they will get drawn to me really quickly. That's what anybody, people get drawn to me really quickly. And it's not about looks. I know I'm a pretty decent looking woman, but it's not just about looks. It's the energy that I bring. It's the, it's the, the compassion, the, 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 the stuff that, that, that ooze from out of me that comes straight from heaven because I care about people. You get a lot of people because a lot of people lack that. They lack people compassion. You know, I'm a good listener and I had to learn to do that because some people listen to respond. They don't listen to comprehend. Okay. Remember, listen to what I'm saying. People listen to respond. They don't listen to comprehend. And they listen to, it's a lot of times they read it. They read it to do that rebuttal. They, re, they read, and you know that rebuttal is full of judgment. Instead of listening. That's why we got so many people that's dealing with mental health on their own. See, a lot of times people think of depression um, it's something that somebody sitting in a corner that can't get out of bed. It's people that depressed that honey, they get up and, and, and get their kids ready for school and go to work and have their husband and all, and all the time this, this person is clinically depressed because they don't, they, they haven't found, or they didn't, they don't feel like they, they have a safe place to be vulnerable with. And which is sad, which is sad. I'm telling you, um, 
you know, a lot of people, they, um, they talk about having the, um, the journal to write in. Listen, sometimes you might be in a space where you don't even want to write. You know what I'm saying? So, and, but you, but I would say this and all my friends is out here selling journals. Y'all still go buy their journals, <laughs> go buy their journals, but take out that picture phone once again, baby. And, and, and go to your voice recorder. And you talk to that voice recorder and play it back and 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 pe- play back your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And, and think about it. Think about what it is that you're saying. You understand? And you might say, hey, man, I heard what I was saying. I might need some help. I might need somebody else that I need to talk to. You understand? Because listen, God put people here on earth to help us. You understand what I'm saying? But at the same time, we got to make a choice because even God does not force anything down our throat. We got to make a choice to be healed. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the we got to be accountable. That's that word again. Accountability. We got to take accountability for our healing. We cannot put that on someone else. We can't say that he didn't apologize to me. She didn't apologize to me. No, you got to take, if you said, if you focus on somebody else for your healing, baby, you're going to always stay broke. You're going to be broken. If you depend on somebody else to get your healing, you're going to stay broken. You're going to stay broken. And I I don't want you to do that. I want you to make a decision. I want you to make a decision to be healed. I want you to make a decision to be delivered and set free. You understand what I'm saying? And and it's not all so and and no, some things has cannot be hashed at, out at the altar. I'm sorry. Some of y'all just like you know your spit ain't anointed like Jesus. You you know what I'm saying? You're not pure like Jesus. You're not gonna be able to cast everything out. You understand what I'm saying? So just understand that you have for those leaders. Y'all understand that you have people in your congregation that's dealing with mental illness. And that's why they do some of the things they do. Now, if your your pastor, that he could or she could be have a license in, in, in psychotherapy, but they could not. You know what I'm saying? And so if you are a leader and you know that you that you don't have experience in that capacity, please refer your person to a therapist. Please, you know, and I, I know these days that some churches, they do have psychotherapists in their congregation and stuff like that. But please know, do not try to to um, handle this if you can't, because that's why, you know, you cannot. We do it better when we do it together. Nobody knows everything. Nobody has the answer to everything but God. OK. And Jesus It's not your pastor. It's not your mom. It's not your sister. It's not your daddy. It's not your children. God, the only one who got an answer for everything, baby. Don't don't look. Don't look for nobody else to 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 have all the answers to you. And look. And why is God talking about talking about you to everybody else and ain't talking to you? God don't have no respect for people that he talked to. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that your pastor don't have a word for you. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that a friend or somebody, they don't have. But my thing is take accountability to get a relationship yourself. Don't be, don't be one of those people that, that what we call prophet addicts, that you're trying to get to every prophetic conference, that you, that you, you want a prophetic word. You understand what I'm saying? Good. Listen, you want to go see the psychic. The psychic got to tell you what's going on in your life. You got to look up your zodiac sign and get, and, and you, you need to know what's going on. <sighs> I, I ain't going to get into that. I'm not going to get into that tonight. But my thing is, um, God will speak to you. I challenge you. They got all these challenges going, going, going on, uh, this year, but I challenge you to be accountable. I challenge you to be accountable and make a decision to heal. Not just because a new year came in. I challenge you to make a decision to be healed for the rest of your life. Healing it healing is a is a process. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna you I've lost family, I've lost three brothers. I lost both parents. You know what I'm saying? I was divorced. Anybody know, but getting divorced is that's like a death. But I have, God has delivered me from that, so from those things. So definitely delivered me from the divorce, honey. Um, you know, thank God for him. You know, 
I got we got three beautiful children together, and I love my grandson. Yes, Lord. Y'all don't see him on here. The grandson Joshua. But you know, um, but I think I thank God for I have no regrets. Now, when I was going through these things, did I feel like how I feel now? No. But I thank God it has made me the woman who I am today, the woman that you see before me today. And this is one of the reasons why that um that I'm constantly doing V Talk TV. V, you know, I want to help other people. I want to encourage, I want to empower, I want to educate other people because anybody knows me i'm a bulldog as you know people who do social service social work we are that y'all already know we like lawyers we we advocate we look we hate to see um social injustice injustice in general we hate to see people be taken advantage of and that's me i'm definitely an advocator if you come and and that's and a lot of people come to me for that too because they already know that if i'm if you want me to go hard for you i'm gonna go hard for you some people say well you should have been a lawyer and a little sidebar my new look because i'm not really a tv person but i think this is the most i've watched tv in the last two years but i've been watching all um all rise or whatever i really like that show with the the uh, female judge if if it wasn't so late in the game for me about I, I went old as i am now i, I definitely could, could see myself doing something like that um even thought about doing something in the political arena as well. But, you know, we never know what God... Listen, I, I'm in a day and a time where I want to do what God say do. And I want to do what I'm passionate about. And in, in, in other times, you know, I, I've gotten in spaces where they're like um, people pulling me over here, pulling me over there. This You could do this to make more money. Listen, I've come to the conclusion, if, I, if it's not part of my purpose, it... I can't do it. I'm not going to be effective of it because we all was here for a purpose. And I can't think about, ooh, this is going to make me a lot of money. I just got to do what God has called me to do. And and this right here, like talking to you guys, uh, doing V talk, bringing people on, um, professionals, clinicians, talking about mental health, bringing on um, pastors um, and, um, and teachers coming on, talking about uh, education, spiritual wellness, physical wellness, uh, talking about gardening, just talking about um, being well, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of yourself. I I love it because it's giving people opportunity and it's giving them information to to be the, the their best selves and that's that that's all I want you know I don't never ask God for money I ask Him for resources and I ask Him for access and influence because if you have those things you'll never go without and you know and I thank God for my work because my work is something that I was born to do so you could get fired from a job. You could get fired from a job and you retire from job, but nobody can never fire me for my work because that's that's what I was born to do. And see, my work consists of helps. As long as your work consists of helps, I promise you, you will never be unemployed. OK, don't never think <laughs> because even I know some of you, you go on a nine to five job. But what I want to challenge you to do is get a business, get a little side business. Do something that you're passionate. If that job is not something that you're passionate about and that you feel is a part of your a part of your purpose, go ahead, get start your business up. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. You understand? You you ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> there is listen. I don't I don't um lose. I learn lessons. That's what I say. You know I don't lose. I learn lessons. And, you know, sometimes we, you know, because we have been in, all of us has been in isolation. And, you know, I, and, you know, this is what I say. Sometimes it takes isolation before there's elevation. Sometimes that it takes isolation before there's elevation. And I do believe we're in a season where God is elevating a lot of us. Some of us has been in the back scenes and we okay with that. But this time, but this is the time that God is elevating us. He's calling us higher. He's saying, I want more of you. I want more for you. Not just more of you, but more for you. Listen, God is not about us living in poverty. He's not about us living in depression and oppression and worrying about this and worrying about that. No, we are supposed to be living free. We are the king's kid. We're supposed to be repping the kingdom. We're supposed to be living kingdom. We're supposed to look like kingdom. All of that. Well, however looking 
kingdom <laughs> is for you. Like I said earlier, I talk about fashion wellness. Some people, they like being in their sweats or whatever. Whatever makes you feel good. You understand? So we're not, we're not supposed to be oppressed and depressed. We supposed to, we got, you know, a lot of times I know back in the day, you know, the older people's like, you saying the little son to when we get to hell, I can't wait till we get to heaven. Listen, we got heaven here on earth. You know, God don't want us to wait till we get to him to start living good. No, we can live good right now. However, however that looks for you. Listen, I don't stay on here for, for more. I was only going to do 30 minutes. But I have really enjoyed being on here talking with you all. And one of the things, another thing that helped keep my skin looking healthy is getting my rest. When I had my grandson here, <laughs> he was like, v you sleep all the time. I was like, no, you don't sleep enough, boo. To my, I sleep all the time. He want to stay up all night. To my, I'm going to be lit when I go to grandma's house. Well, he don't call me grandma because my name is Veronica. So he called me v -ma. So he's like, Vima, you sleep too much. No, you don't sleep enough. So, but you know, I really enjoyed him um, when he was here for the holiday break. And I really enjoy you guys. I thank all of you for, for coming on and those of you that will watch the replay. And again, I thank God for every guest that has been on and those that are going to come on. And also a shout out to one of my guests. She her her business was um was affected by a tornado. And we definitely V Talk TV. We definitely sent a donation. And some of y'all go to my page and um on Instagram and you can see her business. And um she's she like I said she's gonna be a guest. She's gonna be the next guest, I believe, because like like her business was affected by the tornado. And uh, we just keep her in in prayer, righteous prayers, okay? You know, <laughs> I always tell people, you know, um, I touch and agree with every righteous prayer that you pray because everybody's prayer is not righteous, okay? So, um, you know, I love you without a price tag. I think I love in each and every one of y'all. I, like I said, love is a choice and I choose to love. I choose not to have hate in my heart. We might not talk every day or we might not been taught. We might hadn't talked in years, but I promise you, if I love you once, I'm always love you because I choose to. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's different when it comes to my inner space. I'm not, I don't want everybody in my inner space because I, I have to keep my mind, my mind right. You know what I'm saying? Because God, I got a God, I got a, a purpose. I got stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? I got a God to glorify. Okay. You know, it's some people that's counting on me to survive. It's some people counting on me to do everything that God has called me to do. So, you know, it, it's nothing personal. You know, some Sometimes um, we encounter some people, uh, certain certain things is 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 um it is is tragic or the energy is not good and and when you're on a mission for God, you got to keep your energy up. You got to keep your energy up, and so and that's what I try to do. And again, like I said, I I, I thank you guys. I I want to give a shout out to to all of my children. They are the best human, one some of the best humans I know. My youngest son, um, he he did the intro, um, which I didn't play today. We didn't we didn't have a DJ today, but um, yes, Talon, Ty Cola, Dayron, and my grandson Joshua. I love you all without a price tag. Peace. <laughs>